there's certain things you can't do in a simulation. You don't feel the real world, everything that's pressing on your body, and trying to make decisions under stress with a lot of other airplanes around you. The intent of this airplane with the QF-16 is to make it into an unmanned target drone, a target, to truly test our pilots. So this will have full F-16 capabilities for our speed, G's, maneuvering, rolling. It can do anything an F-16 can do. It's important for a QF-16 to be able to do 9G's because most of the advanced fighters that they're practicing against also can do 9G's. So that's critical. During 9G turns, basically the effect of nine times the force of gravity on your body. It's like the roll's weighing down on top of you. If they bring in a squadron for target practice. They'll practice some of their training scenarios and tactics, and they'll use this as a real moving target. You're actually gonna now shoot at it and follow through. So you'll see what a maneuvering airplane looks like. They practice different things as far as targeting, using their radar, real life missile shots. If I do my job right, I can make this really hard and truly test our pilots. So my view of the world is an enemy pilot's not gonna just sit there and say, okay, come hit me. He's gonna try to maneuver and, and, and try to get away. There's nothing like that true seat of the pants, real world, hey, this is what it really feels like. I mean, it's something you don't usually see until you're really in harm's way. You hate that to be the first time. As the sun rises in the southern New Mexico desert, Boeing's QF-16 is towed out onto the runway for its latest test flight. Michael McWilliam gets the jet ready. I get the jet started and cranked. I get all the switches set. Uh, we engage with a remote control facility. We go through a lot of tests to make sure everything's, everything's working well. Uh, and then uh, once we're ready, you know, we exit the cockpit and I get out and uh, she's ready to fly by herself. The QF-16 has flown unmanned before, but this is the graduation exercise. This time, the QF-16 is being tested to do what it was designed for. Flying over White Sands Missile Range, the QF-16 target is identified. A ground-to-air missile is fired at the jet, coming within a few hundred feet of the target. The aircraft uh, tail number is QF-004. She survived, and we brought her home. The QF-16 mission is really to act as a target um, and to validate weapon systems. So part of its job is data gathering. So we do have a scoring system on the airplane and its job is to tell us uh, basically how close the missile came and its trajectory. Um, that information is provided back to uh, whoever the shooters are. And if the data gathered from the QF-16 matches the missile's data, it would have uh, been a good hit and a good kill for the aircraft, but it allows us to use the aircraft over and over again. The QF-16 is replacing the QF-4 as an aerial target, providing training against a more modern-day threat. The F-16 is much more maneuverable. It can provide our customers uh, with, a, with a better, an aerial target that's got more capabilities, uh, and it represents a fourth-generation threat. And it performs unmanned just like it does manned. And for the first time, the customer ran the entire mission. It really was not just a test of the aircraft, but to make sure all the training we've provided, all the maintenance manuals, all the test equipment, everything's working, and that the customer's able to use it uh, by themselves, given what we've provided them. So this was really a test to make sure everything was in place and it's really ready to go operational. Currently, six F-16s have been modified. They will be part of the first operational squadron at Tyndall Air Force Base.